Congratulations! Kubernetes version 1.28 has been released. So this release brings lots of new alpha stage APIs and of course also brings new deprecations and APIs reaching the GA state. So in this video I chose to highlight the top three features that I really liked about this release. So let's get started. So my name is Shimon Toltz, I'm one of the CNCF ambassadors and don't forget to subscribe to the Shimon Ops channel. So in this video I chose to highlight several of the features that I would like to go over. So we're going to talk about cell for validation that has reached beta API, we're going to talk about dynamic resource allocations and we're going to talk about a brand new feature that is long awaited which is the sidecar container has been finally made a first class citizen and we will go over how to use it. So be sure to check out the links in the description below. I've linked to all of the new features and some of the blog posts that I liked about the changelog and the new releases so check them down in the description. Cell for admission controller. So this exciting API has been moved to beta um, and I believe it will soon be in stable. And this is actually allowing us to use a validation admission policy. And previously when we wanted to prevent misconfigurations to our workloads, we had to actually have an admission controller that we run as a deployment and intercept all of the changes that are happening to the cluster and then as a service decide whether uh, those changes should be allowed. So with cell for admission controller, this is actually can be done natively within Kubernetes. So uh, we can use the admission uh, registration uh, API and we can use the validating admission policy and actually specify the rules. So in this example, we can say that the policy will fail if there is an operation of create or update to deployments. And then you can see the expressions are very, very simple. It is cell common expression language by Google. And the, the idea is to be very simple. So here we need to make sure that replicas are equal or above five. And then we can actually take this policy and bind it to a specific resource inside of our Kubernetes workload. So in this case, we say, if there is a resource with the uh, label uh, of environment equals production, it should uh, apply to this policy. And if it does not, the workload will be denied from running. So this is a major breakthrough. And I believe that this is the future of policy enforcement in Kubernetes. Dynamic resource allocation. So guess what? We don't only need CPU and memory and uh, disk space. Uh, there might be other constraints for resources. And now in the very, very hyped uh, AI market, uh, there's actually a need to be able to, to use constraints for other things. So for example, uh, uh, this dynamic resource allocation uh, alpha is actually available and it was introduced in 1.26 but this API continues to evolve and then you can actually uh, claim resources that uh, you define the driver for. So the most obvious uh, example for that is defining uh, GPU resources that you want to claim. So you can now use that in alpha. The sidecar pattern has been around for a very long time and this is being used for log shippers or meshes or fetching secrets and whatnot. But up until now there was no official way of actually telling Kubernetes, hey, this is a sidecar and not just yet another container. And this could cause problems where your sidecar could be killed, uh, closed before the main application, therefore uh, beating the purpose of, for example, uh, sending logs after you uh, shut down the main container. So now there is a new API called Sidecar Containers, um, which you can specify and say that in your init containers, you specify that restart policy is always. And this is actually an official way of telling Kubernetes 1.28 that this is an official sidecar container and it should be closed last. So this is the things I liked about the Kubernetes 1.28 release. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.